What's going on, fam? I'm back with another video. Um, today I'm reacting to people learn gross pizza facts while eating pizza. Now, I don't know how explicit this is going to be. So, if it turns out to be too bad, I might not post it on my YouTube channel, to be honest. Um... But yeah, hopefully it's not bad because, like, I do eat pizza, so, and I have learned some gross things about hot dogs, but apparently, still eat them. No, so, so, let's get into it. We're all going to die from chemical exposure. I might as well eat some pizza along the way. <laughs> In 2016, the FDA announced there is no longer a reasonable certainty that pizza boxes contain chemicals that are safe for humans. As a result, the FDA prohibited three food contact substances found in pizza boxes that were used to repel moisture and grease in the box. The chemicals were all perfluoral substances, which are found in carpet cleaners, camping tents, and microwave popcorn bags. I'm just going to point out, people live with all three of those items. You don't need to get your pizza in a box. Yeah. Like, you can just grab it. Put it in a bag for all I care. Yeah, it's okay for popcorn. Right. <laughs> I ain't died yet. I can't even... Wait, wait. First off, he said, just grab it and put it in a bag. First off, I don't want your hands all over my pizza. That's what I said. Little dirty ass hands. I don't know where your hands are. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what you call sometimes background singers, guys. Background singers. Anyways, most of those things, they don't scare me. The FDA allows for up to 15 fly eggs and one maggot per 100 grams in tomato paste and other sauces for pizza. Oh, this is quite disgusting. Gross. I love the specificity of that. Hey, Steve, today we need you to figure out exactly how many maggots can be in tomato sauce. <laughs> You get 14 fly eggs and you're like, it's good. It's good Ship to it get out. Fly eggs, super small, like not tiny. Big fly. fly eggs. Why 15? Why not? None. Bruh. Bruh, that is disgusting. For pizza paste, that is disgusting. First off, FDA has been doing some disgusting things. And they've had. They've actually allowed some disgusting things to actually be in our food, period. Including humans. They allow, like, I think 1% of humans. 3%. It's 3% or 4%. Yeah, I think. Well, anyways, 3 or 4%. Apparently, someone who knows exact statistics, not saying no names. Oh. But, anyways, this, it, it, that's just nasty. In 2018, so this is uh -oh. current. Uh-oh. In 2018, mouse poop was found in name brand pizza in Indianapolis, Indiana. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, a yeah, health department supervisor yeah, said there was a good yeah. amount. It was very obvious that there were numerous mouse droppings in the pizza. It's not very often that we run into that amount of evidence of mouse droppings in a food product. <laughs> I like that he wasn't like, oh, this is very serious. There was like way too much. He said, there was a good amount. It's like he was excited about it almost. It's a good amount. It's not a great amount. We took this planet from the mice. So yes. I'm willing to let them poop Live on our stuff even a little bit sometimes. Bad. Have you ever had a rat infestation no. okay, yeah, in your I'm house? Have you? Yes. Is it really gross? It's pretty gross. Yeah. In 2011, a guy found a Band-Aid with remnants of dried blood in his pizza leftovers that he bought from a Clifton Park. New York location. He says that his messages to the pizza company went unanswered for several weeks. This one's gross. Just some like dirty delivery guy had a band-aid fall off on the pizza, which is gross. That is gross. That's how you know it's <laughs> handmade. You know that pizza's handmade. That's true. Uh, right? Wait, what's the saying? Blood, sweat, and tears went into this recipe. Boom. That is pretty Point. fucking gross though, because pizza. you don't know. <laughs> First off, he said that he had his messages to the pizza company go unanswered for several weeks. First off, it would have been several weeks. For me, it would have been two days. And then I have been up there and calling the health department. First off. 
So, anyways. Oh, so if that person has something. It's dried, though. It could have been tomato sauce. Let's. Good point. <laughs> Use your imagination here, people. We love pizza so much, we're trying to come up with excuses to make us feel better. <laughs> when a Reddit user asked fast food workers of Reddit, what should we not order at your restaurant? Why not? Someone who claimed to be a manager from a big pizza brand responded with the following quote. Our dough are processed, frozen discs that we handle without gloves. When I say handle without gloves, I mean handle without washing hands. We also spray them with non-stick spray and oil the hell out of them. After that, we proof them and top them, again, with our bare hands, probably dirty. Sometimes the dough will be really old, four to five days at the max, where it gets all shrivelly and sinks down into the pan. Oh, and our breadstick and pizza sauce are pretty much tomato paste in a plastic bag that we mixed with water. My mom used to let me play in dirt because she didn't want us growing up with like everything being sanitized because you, then you get an immunity to stuff and you end up being like a tiny little baby for the rest of your life. I like that your mom was like, go roll in dirt so that someday you can eat pizza. Yep. I like pizza a lot. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, that's some pretty disturbing facts and nasty stuff, but it's not as bad as hot dogs, honestly. It's not as bad as hot dogs, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and check out my YouTube page at CDJ Plays. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.